Hello, humans. Prepare yourselves to learn how to work with Lightweb and Faceship together. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Fabio Nunziata, and uh, this is a tutorial on how to work with Lightweb and Faceship together. How to uh, set up a model with the, all the morph you need uh, to be used in uh, Face Shift, how to import uh, a custom model in uh, Face Shift, how to perform a face track, uh, and finally how to use this animation back in Lightwave. So the first thing you need is, uh, guess what, <laughs> a model. <laughs> For uh, this tutorial I will use uh, this model that is called Alien Emissary, uh, which it comes with uh, Lightwave 11.6. It's uh, a pretty good model, uh, very beautiful. It comes uh, fully textured and also full rigged. So the only things you need is obviously the, the morphs. So how those morphs will look like? Let's go to face shift for a while. Here is it. And uh, go to tracking room, go to target import, and this is the tool you will use to import your own model. But it, it is also uh, very useful for have a reference of the blend shapes you need. Those blend shapes are 48 and uh, it is listed uh, on the left of the panel. You see? Here is it. This is the, for example, I blink left, I blink right, I squint, uh, let's see, Joe open, and so on. I think you get the point. So use it as a reference for your own morphs. Let's back to Modeler. I assume uh, you already know how to set up uh, a morph in Lightwave and uh, it is also beyond the purpose of this tutorial, so I already did this task. Um, here is it, the Vertex Maps panel. Uh, let's take a quick look on uh, how my morph uh, looks. Uh, for example, uh, this is the eye blink left, eye blink right, jaw open, and so on. It is a good advice to spend a lot of time uh, in this uh, in this specific task because uh, the better the morph, uh, the better the animation uh, uh, will look like. But you don't really have to worry too much about this because uh, even after you have performed uh, your tracking process, uh, you can tweak your morph later. So you have your model, you have all the morph. Okay. Now uh, at this point, it is a good idea to detach the head. From your, uh, from the body of your model, uh, that's because uh, face shift can track uh, face expression and head rotation, and uh, also where your eyes is looking at. But um, it just can't uh, track the rest of the body, so uh, it is useless to have all the body in face shift. Uh, also, because you you will see um, all the body uh, rotate in a very strange way following the rotation of the neck. So just uh, copy the head and paste it to another, uh, to another object. Here is it, I already did, just copy and paste, okay? As you can see, we still have all our morph, okay? Now, as I said, the interesting thing about face shift is that it can also track uh, rotation of the eyes and rotation of the neck. For this purpose, it used um, a very rough rig. Uh, you need uh, three bones, one for the neck and two for the eyes. And um, one is called joint neck, uh, one is called joint eye left, and joint eye right. Okay, so let's go to layout. Now, I already did the, the rig process, here is it. And this is probably the worst rig you ever saw in your life, uh, but uh, you don't really need to be any precise. Just remember to export three bones, that it is uh, the joint for the neck and the two bones for the eyes. Okay? Uh, the other bones are for uh, 
uh, link the, the bones and also to have uh, a better deformation of the head. Now, once you have your rig done, uh, you are ready to export your model to phase shift via FBX. Okay, so let's go to File, Export, Export FBX. Okay, take a look at the panel. Uh, here you can set up a path uh, for the model. I save it. I save it in a in a folder called FBX. Okay, I call it uh, Alien Emissary underscore head. Okay. Now you can set the type to binary FBX version to this one. Okay, as default. The then uh, you have to export your models, your morphs. Obviously, you can uh, keep the the subdivision off for the cage and export the material is important because uh, so you have your texture mapped to the model. Okay, and press. Okay. Now let's go to phase shift. Uh, it is a uh, you know it is uh, a little tricky to import your model but not difficult at all so you don't have to worry about it just go to the root called tracking okay now under target go uh, click to import okay we are in the room we were before now load target here on the bottom left okay find your model Here is it. Okay. Now you see the default head on the left and your model on the right. Okay. Now you have to. Al we have to align our model to the default model. Uh, the first thing to do is to align the joint neck. Here is it. Just click on target. Okay. Choose the joint called neck. Now we can resize the model, rotate the model to match the position of the default head. Here we go. Rotate on the Y. Okay. Now let's scale the model until it reached the, the same dimension of the default head. Okay. Now, let's hire a little. Here we go. Okay. Until they look similar. Okay, I think I'm happy about it. Now we want to see our texture on our model. So, uh, let's go click on change under texture directory, okay, click change. Okay. And click choose. Uh, now you see how nicely uh, your texture is mapped on the model. Okay. Now the part that is a little tricky. Take a look uh, at the left of the panel. This is the list of the blend shape in the default model, while on the right, uh, this is the uh, morph imported from Lightweb. Okay, so uh, we must match uh, the, um, uh, the the morph uh, from Lightweb to the one of the default head. It is it is very easy but uh, a little tedious. So look for example, this is the eye blink left. Okay, our model is not blinking at all. So just search for I blink left, here is it, okay? And you can see, we can make it blink, okay? I blink right, same thing, take the slider all to right, okay? I squint left, okay? I squint right, High down left, here we go. High down right. Okay, I'll finish this work um, uh, while not recording, so it's faster. Uh, also, I think you get the point of this thing. Just select the the blend shape of the default model. Search for the here is it. <laughs> Search for the uh, morph 
uh, from your imported model and tick the slider all to right okay welcome back i'm done uh, look now how the blend shape matches with the uh, morph imported from lightweight look that okay again just select the name of the blend shape and find the, the, the imported morph and pull the slider all right okay perfect now just remember to set up the target even from the joint of the both eyes here we go now we are done now just save the mapping okay i already did this uh, this is the default path call it as you want okay and click sa and click save okay then click ok now for the fun part just click on play here we go as you can see uh, the model is uh, follow me nicely uh, I can talk I can move my eyes around I can blink um, I can uh, open the mouth I can <laughs> also inflate the cheek and <laughs> I think it is it is inflating too much. Uh, it's not a big deal. Just uh, go back to import. Uh, I'm sorry. Just click to on edit. Okay. Just uh, search for the puff. Here is it. Okay. And uh, set to let's say 0.3 okay so uh, it is uh, inflate less okay save it again here we go yes replace click ok and here we go now it works very better okay now we are ready to uh, record some takes and uh, export it to lightweb um, so as you can see we have two buttons up here uh, this is for uh, stop the tracking process okay and this is for a uh, uh, record the take okay just push the record button to take uh, to uh, to record a take um, let's go let's say uh, what can I say <laughs> um, okay hello humans I came from face shifting peace <laughs> okay that was really stupid sorry about it okay if you want to see uh, how your uh, take looks just uh, click uh, uh, on uh, the name of the take here is it and there is a timeline at the bottom of at the bottom of the screen just click play hello humans I came from face shifting peace. <laughs> okay, it's quite good to me, and uh, we are ready to export it. Just a right click on the clip name, export an FBX. Now let's go to. You can save it uh, wherever you want. Uh, let's see here, here, FBX. Okay. I'll call it say uh, hello <laughs> humans okay now your target must be set as template I'll explain this later um, you can export the rotation and if you want the translation remember that the translation will uh, be applied on the root node okay uh, you can export the audio also and if you want, you, you can export the video. Uh, it exports uh, uh, a sequence of JPEG. And click Save. Uh, this is for the, uh, the audio. The audio, you can save it wherever you want. You can make a folder called the audio or save it in the same folder, okay? And click Save. Okay, here we go. Now go back to Layout and load 
uh, your scene when you want to make your animation. Uh, I load uh, this uh, this scene, which it comes uh, uh, with the content of uh, Lightweb 11.6. Okay. This is uh, our alien with the whole body, mm -hmm. with a, a complete complete rig, as you can see. Okay. Now uh, we can see better with our texture on it. Here is it. As you can see, it has uh, many more detail uh, than uh, in Modeler because it also comes with a, a displacement map. Now, um, how we can import our animation from FaceShift to, to this scene? Uh, well, it, it is very easy. Uh, just to go to f uh, just go to file, uh, load. Here you go. Load items from scene. Here and select uh, our FBX. Okay, Lightwave sees uh, an FBX like a normal scene, but uh, it will also uh, build a folder structure for you uh, with the uh, objects uh, folder and the scene folder, etc. Uh, scale the scene as uh, 0 0.1, okay, and leave the rest as it is. Bake rotation, and light with bond and click on continue okay now we must uh, uh, select uh, all the objects uh, in uh, all the items in the scene click OK perfect now it seems that nothing is changed but uh, if you look down whoop, here we go we see that there is uh, this is the uh, head template the uh, default head the full head from uh, face shift and uh, it contains uh, all the animation we recorded uh, on the on our takes uh, the hello humans one okay as you can see in the object properties panel here uh, you see that there is already a morph mixer set okay and if you open an envelope you see that this is a specific morph and uh, it uh, contains contains uh, all the the keyframe uh, for this that specific morph. Perfect. Now we just have to uh, transfer all, all the morph to to our model to the alien emissary, and it's in it, it is very easy. Just click on options. Okay, save and the morph mix. Uh, I already have my folder called Endomorph Mix. <laughs> I uh, already saved it <laughs> early and click OK. Now you have it. Perfect. Let's go back to our alien. Select the alien. OK. It already have a morph mixer on it. Double click on it. Now go to options, load and the morph mix, okay, and select your hello human. Click OK. Perfect. Now we have uh, all our animation mapped. Oh, let's see better without bone X ray. Okay. Mapped on our creature. Do the same for the lower fit. Okay. Load endomorph mix folder here. Hello human. Here we go. Now go to audio. Load audio. Okay. Let's find the audio we saved and click on it to load. Now make preview. Hello humans, I came from face shift in peace. <laughs> okay, it looks uh, pretty good to me. Uh, now let's go for the head rotation and the height rotation. Okay, open uh, uh, scene editor, head control. Yes, open the motion, motion options, go to controller and limits. 
okay under rotation item click and search for our joint neck from the model from face shift here we go now for the adding controller click on same as item same as item and same again same as item okay now we can do the same for the eyes okay we can select both okay sorry first select the left one go to a rotation item go to the bottom of the list uh, just find the here is here it is joint eye left okay hitting controller same as item okay same as item and same as item okay right eye same thing rotation item bottom of the list joint eye right perfect same as item same as item and same as item okay hello humans i came from face shift in peace <laughs> okay now just remember uh, we also have uh, the uh, translation the position of the shoulder coming from face shift so if you have uh, that controller too uh, in your character for the uh, upper uh, for the upper body uh, you can map that part too okay we're done now go get uh, also uh, Nevro motion uh, with Kinect support for Lightweave and you will have a full uh, body motion tracking system directly on your desktop thanks for watching